Oh, good morning, Heather. Just, uh, bopping around with a little sky lady here. We're on the harbor, doing the little harbor walk. Just a nice, uh, easy morning. Woo! Sorry, I was, uh, listening to uh, a book, and I <laughs> thought when I started recording that it would just automatically turn off on my old phone. I used to do that. So the first, like, 15 seconds there where I was talking over David Sedaris. Uh, I don't know if you've ever read or listened to anything by him, but, man, I have become addicted to David Sedaris. Um, obviously, like, when I'm... Well, maybe not so obviously. When I'm strolling with the dogs, I listen to a lot of podcasts and audiobooks and music as well, but uh, I figure I might as well fill that time with... Uh, some kind of educational purpose, right? So, uh, come here, lady. So, uh, a couple of, maybe like two months ago, I was like, oh, well, uh, listen to a David Sedaris book. I'd never listened to him before and, uh, or read anything by him. It's like one of those things where it's like, you know, it's going to be amazing, but you just don't do it. Right. Um, I remember the first time I saw one of his books, I was like 19, 18, maybe I was in Florida. I was at, Oh my God, I was at downtown Disney. Um, <laughs> I lived in Orlando. I was at downtown Disney with a bunch of friends and they had a, um, they had a Virgin record store there and they had a big old book section. And, uh, I don't remember I don't remember the name of the book, but the one with the cover with a smoking skeleton on it uh, is the first one I ever saw, and, you know, it was, like, displayed prominently, everybody, because he's, like, a rock star, and, like, you know, like, the bio-novelist, autobiographical world, so, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't buy it then, I remember flipping through a couple of pages, thinking it was fun, but, uh, you know, I had uh, other things to do, like go clubbing and pine after this woman. <laughs> that did not reciprocate my feelings at all. So, uh, you yeah, know, such is life. But, uh, yeah, so I started listening to David Sedaris like a month or two ago, and now I am fucking hooked. So, you know, he only has so much content, so I've been trying to... I've been trying to, like, not just... Because the books are only, like, you know, once... Because he reads them, too, which is even funnier. Um, So, uh, he's got such a a great delivery and a a fun voice. No, you can't have that, sorry. And um, I've been trying to... Is there, like, seven, maybe eight hours tops? Some of the shorter ones are, like, five. So, uh, I'm trying not to, like, just read them all at once together, but, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, what we're doing this morning, and, uh, man, the seaport is bustling at night, huh? Fucking crazy over here. I, uh, haven't spent, uh, yeah, come here, sweetheart. I haven't spent much time, uh, in the seaport at night in the last, uh, couple, where are you? Come on, go that way. In the last couple of years, so it's been, uh, it was an experience last night. We, uh, we ended up walking around for like two hours, um, and we bopped up and down Seaport Boulevard like three times because I didn't, like the first time I was like, ah, oh, we'll head home, and then I was like, we've only been out for like 45 minutes, like, what the fuck am I doing tonight, right? Like, let's go back in, so we walked back out, and then came back in, and then walked back out, and came back in, so, <laughs> it's a ridiculous evening, but, uh, man, a lot of people that I never want to ever see ever again, just hanging out in the seaport. A lot of bros. I saw uh, I saw um, a fight almost break out on the bridge over Seaport Boulevard. And it's this, I mean, I didn't see the, like, inc- like the, the inciting incident, but uh, from the sound of it, it looked like some guy, like, pushed a girl, like a drunk dude, like, pushed a girl, and then this little guy came over was like, don't fucking like, touch women like that. And, oh my god. The drunk dude just started repeatedly screaming faggot at this guy. Um, I hate straight people. 
<laughs> which is a ridiculous remark to begin with. But, um, like, you know, he's, like, yelling that, right? Because it's, like, the worst thing he could think of to say to somebody, faggot. The worst thing this person could possibly be in this drunk dude's head is a gay guy. Or, like, at least a guy that gets with other guys. Like, ugh. So sad. Our country is fucked. <laughs> Well, it's not just our country. Homophobia rampant in our culture. It's so gross. But, uh, yeah, okay, well, I'll leave you there. That's, uh, this video is now uh, about two and a half minutes longer than I intended it to be. So, uh, bye. <laughs>